Hello, my name is Christina masala -Khai. I am currently a PhD student in Law and Institutions at the University of Turin. A few things to know about me, I often call myself a sojourner storyteller. Now, sojourner comes from the great irony of my life that my surname means person who stays at home. And yet, I was born in Botswana, grew up in South Africa, and I'm currently living in Italy. And so I've had the tendency of sojourning quite a lot uh, on this earth throughout my life. Uh, secondly, as a storyteller, I believe in the power of story, um, that stories can change people, uh, stories give voice to our experiences, and stories have the power to bridge the gap between different kinds of people and cultures and across time and history. And so this is a story of who I am, and I'm so excited to be part of the Fellowship City story as well. Um, so around about my second last year of high school, I went through a season of intense questioning. Um, I'd been raised Catholic and so I knew of Jesus, um, but I didn't have a lived experience of faith or relationship with Jesus. Um, and so I went on a journey um, exploring different faiths and really wanting to understand what it is I believe and why I believe it. Um, and I remember asking God to show himself to me. Um, I was in a season of wanting to know that if there was a God, if there was faith to be known, then I wanted to know it. And I wanted to know it for myself in a real and personal way. Um, and so at some point in that journey, uh, my sister invited a family friend over who is a believer. And he sat with me for hours and listened to my story, uh, listened to my questions. Um, and when I was done, he opened up the word in John 1, verse 1 to 5. Uh, and he read, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Um, and as he read those words, it felt as though that light of Christ filled my eyes. Um, and for the first time in my life, I, I believe that Jesus is who he says he is, and that he is the light of the world. And that is how I came to faith. Jesus was often unconventional. Uh, he broke societal norms and rules, and he didn't conform to the expectations of people around him. Um, instead, he lived an untamed obedience and fulfilled the mission that God had for him on this earth. Um, and in my own walk of faith, I've seen how um, God has often called me to unconventional spaces. Um, and in that, it has been an incredible adventure um, following God and living in untamed obedience. So for me, I think this has been embracing the idea of being a sojourner on this earth. Um, if we read 2 Corinthians 5 and Philippians 3, um, we see this idea that heaven is our home, um, that this earth is not our home and we are pressing towards this heavenly home. But while we're on this earth, we're called to the ministry of reconciliation, um, reconciling people and God and being part of what God is doing on this earth. And so I think for me, embracing the fact that I'm a sojourner um, means that I'm at home everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Um, despite the irony of my sin and being a person who stays at home, um, I found that I am most at home in Christ. Um, and as long as I'm in Christ, um, then I can be anywhere else in the world. And so, um, whereas when I was younger, I used to believe that, um, you know, doing missions full time was the only way in which to be part of spreading the gospel and being part of this ministry of reconciliation. I now see how God has used my vocation um, as a tool in ministry um, and how he's used my life um, to show the implications of the gospel, regardless of where I am. Um, and so uh, transitioning between countries and cultures and languages um, is often difficult. Um, I've suffered from the various uh, stages of culture shock many times, um, but it has all been worth it um, to see God um, reconciling people of all tribe, tongue, language, nations. Um, and so I'm grateful that I get to be part of this particularly unconventional um, way of living, um, but at the same time, uh, incredible journey of being able to see God at work across the world um, and to see the wonder of the gospel being expressed um, in the beauty of diversity that we see around us. And so um, that's how Christ has called me to an untamed obedience and to follow an unconventional path.